Hey guys, this is a follow up video to the Stromberg Carlson TS10 I started fooling around with, in particular the gear. So, this came out of a parts chassis. And <laughs> this is what I was warning you about that these chassis, when you've got them out of the cabinet, these, these dials are so susceptible to getting damaged. It's just plastic. So, here's the outermost one clear plastic with a metal insert that has some set screws on it, right? Behind that we have this piece which is really buggered up on this one but that has the gear on it that is damaged on my other one. So this press fits into this which is some type of phenolic material. It's tr semi transparent and has the different functions in it. And on the back side is where that phenolic gear is. This one's in better condition. Well, I can tell because it's dirty, but there's a little bit of wear on some of the teeth, but they're all here. So, sure, if I could transplant this to the other one, the problem is. There's no set screw or anything. It's pushed its press fit into this and then it just slides onto the shaft. There are no set screws that go into the side of this. So how do I transplant this onto the other <laughs> phenolic disc? It looks like this is pressed on and then they uh, put a tool in there and flange that out on this side. Yeah, which is why I left my other one alone. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for your suggestions about uh, ordering a replacement from some parts makers or filing one out of a brass disc. There's another phenolic one on here, by the way. This has a little uh, set thing. So this is a bit more complicated than uh, it initially seemed to be. So why are they phenolic? Why aren't they metal? I got a couple thoughts. One is, well, exactly what happened to my other one. The mechanism in uh, mechanism in here seized up, and somebody must have cranked on the knob. Now, if that was a metal gear, you could have really put a lot of force on it, transferred that into this, and maybe broken the ceramic shaft. That would be a far more expensive repair than popping on a new one of these. If, well, if these were still available as they were back then, this is probably a dollar part, and this would be a $20 part or something like that. So that's one thought I had, is that it's simply a matter of, well, if something goes wrong, let's break the least expensive part to save the very expensive part. Another thought... Uh, this is sensitive RF stuff. Maybe they wanted to avoid metal for shielding or so it wouldn't, uh, you know, to eliminate the hand effect, your hand actually affecting this. Maybe might have to do with just the way the me the gears mesh, that this that doesn't need anti-lashing. The, the other one I worked on recently, the newer one, had uh, two gears in here with springs between them. So to do the anti-lashing, so when you go back and forth, you don't feel that gear slop. They actually have um, two gears that are slightly offset, and there are springs between them. With this, the, you know, they, they don't have any of that. So maybe these just ride better. Now, these are metal, but this and this are, are phenolic. So <laughs> just thought you, you all might find that interesting. That's. Uh, so even if I had a new gear, be it metal, be it phenolic, it's not the easiest thing to transfer. Because you got to get the old one out. Okay, I could just shatter this and get it out. And then I have to get a new one on it, perfectly, tightly set, you know, set in there, and then slide it back on. So I'm probably just going to leave mine the way it is, because it's about 80% of the travel is fine. And I think... I'm, I'm more likely to do more damage than good if I try to do anything with it. I guess there is one other possibility too. If I do take it off so I can get at it like this, I could build up the material that's worn away with 
some epoxy or something like that, and then file uh, down into it, or maybe super glue and baking soda, something like that, just to build it back up, because it's just barely worn down, those teeth aren't very deep. Yeah. Anyways, if you found this interesting, if you have any more thoughts and suggestions, tips, tricks, please throw them my way.